will go with the next example so they are asking us to draw the front view top view and right hand side view so first of all the basic procedure here is to draw the reference lines so i will draw the reference lines as xy and x1 y1 so here the first thing is the front view i need to draw see here the front view i can able to see this edge whatever the thing which i am going to mark red on the figure this entire edge is visible to me in the front view okay so make a note very clearly that this red marks whatever i am drawing is entire part is visible to me from the front view is it or not so i will draw a step by step line here first thing is i have to take a 10 mm then continuously 30 mm then 10 mm so totally it constitutes about 50 mm so with the respect to this xy line i will draw a parallel line of 50 mm as uh, as or i initially i will start like this like this is a 10 next i have to go up by 10 mm okay so this one this uh, this edge this edge i have to take uh, 10 mm up so from here i will take 10 mm up so this will be basically 10 mm next again i have to draw 30 mm here the line which is clearly uh, visible to me okay uh, 30 mm and you can see here this is a through hole which will be there throughout the entire object okay so at the time whenever we are representing the side view we have to mention the dots also there okay next uh, this will be 30 mm and then vertical line um, which will be again the same as 10 mm and again a horizontal line which will be 10 mm so up to now we have drawn this particular surface next this line we have to draw as well as this line what is the height this is 20 so i will draw a 20 mm line similarly this line i have to draw so this line what is the distance what is the value here 20 so similarly 20 i will represent it here also next from here to here i have to draw so it is totally 40 mm 40 minus 20 is again it will be 20 mm so again it will be 20 mm next this one 10 mm so from here i will draw a 10 mm line similarly this line this line so i will draw a down 20 mm line again next 20 mm next this one is 20 mm so this is 20 this is 20 so i have i can able to see the complete picture of my diagram okay so now now what is the challenge is this edge is also visible to us 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 so those things also we have to represent so this will be 20 by 20 again the same thing here also 20 by 20 so what i will do is i will start from here so i will draw a line 20 mm similarly i will draw a closed box 20 similarly from here i will draw a line parallel to xy and again i will draw a line parallel to x1 and y1 so thus completes my front view and one more thing see this is the things which are visible to us which are very clearly visible to us and you can see a hole here is it or not you can see a hole which is 10 mm distance and 30 mm distance so this hole also we have to represent that there is some kind of a hole in this particular plane so how to represent that one means we have to represent a dotted line like this so at what distance at a distance of 10 from the reference point so we have to draw it in line similarly from this surface also we have to draw one more 10 mm line so basically the the objects which is having a hole which we cannot see from the front view we have to represent that one with a hidden line so hidden line means dotted line okay so this is the final front view for us and these are the dimensions which we can able to mark it uh, clearly because 30 is visible to us 10 is 10 is visible to us this 10 is visible to us what are the dimensions which are convenient I, we can mark it here okay now we will draw the top view so for drawing the top view first of all we need to take the vertical projectors from various points from this point this point this point we will i am going to draw the vertical projectors so after drawing the vertical projectors i can able to see this particular surface like this the thing which i am drawing from the top surface this entire part i can able to view it very clearly from the top is it or not 
this one as well as this part i can view this part i can view I mean i'll get a part like this is it or not so let me draw let me draw so how to draw this one the first thing is i am going to start a line here means i am starting from this particular point so let's say it as 10 then i'll come down come down by 10 mm okay then again i will go straight by 30 mm okay 30 mm is the length then again i will go up by 10 mm then again i will go horizontal by 10 mm then again i will come down by this one this one this one is 20 is it or not 20 why 20 means uh, since here it is 15 here it is uh, uh, here it is 10 and here it is 10 totally it constitutes about 15 20 so i will draw a 20 mm line okay then i will draw this line from here to here this line what what will be the distance of this line this line will be 20 here whatever this this distance the same distance will be here so i will draw a 20 mm line okay then again i will go up i will go up the length of this one will be 15 here how i have to decode it because this length as well as this length will be same so here it has been given 15 here also it will be 15 only so i have taken 15 as my reference line next one horizontal 10 line this uh, horizontal 10 line i have to draw next this line this line is uh, down again i have to draw 15 mm 15 mm 15 mm similarly again 20 mm next similarly again 20 mm so this is the thing which i can able to see it very clearly from the top surface as well as i can see this 20 by 15 mm block as well as this 20 by 15 mm two blocks so for that one what i have to draw is i have to draw a line which will be 20 and a line which will be uh, uh, here it will be 15 here it will be 20 similarly here it will be 20 and here it will be 15 so these are the lines i can i can able to draw it on the top surface now now let's see again i have to mention that there is a hole at the bottom through hole through hole at the bottom case so for representing this through hole i have to represent the dotted lines so at a distance of 10 mm from this particular surface if i represent a dotted line here and if i represent a dotted line here from the top view whenever i am seeing i can able to say that there is some kind of a hole at the bottom surface so for representing that one i am drawing a lines here similarly i am going to draw a lines so make a note that this this lines should be dotted line and it should be represent with a 2h line these are not projector lines these are dotted lines which will be seen in the figure only okay and this uh, completes my top view now i have to draw the right hand side view means i have to see from this side from this side right hand side view and i have to going to present this one on the left side of the figure means here i will going to present okay so for this one what i will do is so first of all i will take the projectors so a 45 degree line and if needed we can take for projectors or, or else we no need to take the projector for one or two problems we will take the projectors so i have taken i am taking the projectors like this okay so after taking the projectors like this because i have taken only one as a reference because i i required the center line no uh, this particular line i required so i have taken only one as a reference this as a major reference line so now from the side view i can able to see this edge from that side from this edge whatever this edge will be there this edge i can able to see it from this side as well as this vertical vertex also i can see this what this horizontal vertex also i can see so i am going to draw those things here one and above if i am seeing from this side i can able to see the l shape very clearly first thing is it or not this shape i can able to see from this side so let me draw first to those things okay and what will be the dimension here any confusion in the dimension so this will be uh, somewhere around uh, 20 plus 15 it is 35 and this height will be 40 and again uh, this uh, this length will be around 20 okay and i am going to join this will be 15 this will be 15 so this is the place which i can see 
but if i see from this side this edge is very clearly visible to me as well as this top notch is also visible to me so i will join this box i will join this box like this like this this is my top view okay so here there is a hole no so i have to represent some kind of a hole so i have at bottom there is a hole actually is it or not and as well as here there is some kind of a bifurcation so for bottom bifurcation and all i am going to represent two lines here one line here and one line here for representation of this particular surface this one this one l shape so for the representation of this one there is a hole here like this i am representing with a dotted line okay so this completes my right hand side view so this is a basic way of uh, drawing drawing the orthographic projections for this particular figure